Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a mostly blind Let's Play Pokemon Prism version Nuzlocke. Now, I have played the first, like, ten minutes or so of this game, maybe a little bit more, uh, just to make sure it ran and everything, because uh, I heard some people were having issues with it, but uh, we're going to be doing a Nuzlocke. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it briefly, and I'll also put the um, rules down in the description below. But basically, first rule is, if your Pokemon faints, they're considered dead, and you can no longer use them. You must either release them, or just put them in a PC box and never take them out. Uh, we're going to be putting them in a PC box, just because, just in case we fail the Nuzlocke, I do want to continue the game, because I don't know how like the post-game is and all that stuff, and I do want to see it through the entire way. But we're going to try to Nuzlocke it to the best of our abilities. Uh, secondly, uh, you can only catch the first wild Pokemon on each route you encounter. So if you and if you kill it, or it runs away, or whatever, you're out of luck. So like if we went to Route One, and we accidentally killed a Pidgey or whatever's on there, we could not catch another Pokemon on Route One ever. Uh, again, or whatever route this game starts you at. And finally, rule number three: we must name all of our or nickname all of our Pokemon. All right, let's get into it. Uh, let's go to the options real quick. Tech speed. Okay, tech speed's already on fast. Uh, I don't know what printer setting is. I don't know what turn speed is. Let's see what frames are there. Uh, eight, eight's looking pretty clean. Let's use eight. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, new game. Please let the, set the year and date. Well, it is currently January. Fifth. Yeah, this is also, like, really cool, by the way, for just, like, an old-school ROM to have. Oh, January 5th. Greetings! Welcome to the world of Pokémon. Well, I'm well, uh, that doesn't matter. Anyway. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokémon. People in Pokémon live and support each other. Some people play with Pokémon, some people study them. Others even battle their Pokémon and strive to be champions. This is Red. Hailing from Pallet Town in the Kanto region, he successfully became the region's Pokémon champ, while also taking down the corrupt Team Rocket. Beat Gold. Also a young trainer, he left home from New Bark in Johto and worked his way to the top, challenging many tough and troublesome foes along the way. But you... You, too, are destined for greatness. Oh, yes. Why not tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright. This game also has a bunch of different, like, uh, character models you can be. It's pretty dope. You can make Lance, if you want. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of other dudes. Uh, Lance has my favorite theme in all of Pokemon. I guess it's the Lance slash Red theme, since they, they share the same theme. But... We'll do that. There's also female models, if that's what you're into. There's also, you know, Claire, I think, that is. Alright, let's, uh, let's be the Lance model. Uh, our skin tone. That looks good. And then everything else color. Um, I think I was, yeah, I was partial to this fire brick. We could do custom, but I don't want to fiddle around with it too much. Let's just do fire brick. Nice and red. Yes, this is the color that I want. Thank you. Finally, could you please tell me your name? Ah, of course. New name. Uh, we could fit Rhizotis in there. Just barely. Zotis. It's your boy. <laughs> Zotis, are you ready? Hell yeah. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. World of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'm sure I'll see you later. I'm sure you will too. I haven't gone too much past this point. Just a random cut tree that's not actually blocking anything. Any items down here? Nope. Okay. Oh, you can also run too. Which is really cool. Like, this game has so many, like, nice features that were brought in from later generations. It's so beautiful here, isn't it? I've missed just escaping into the wilderness. 
I know you miss your father, Rezotis, but he's out there making a bigger name for himself. I know you want him to follow in or I know you want to follow in his footsteps. But promise me that no matter how big you get, that you will never forget about me. Thank you for coming with me. Yeah, sure, whatever. Sorry, there should be like items in here. This is hella sketchy. <laughs> Rosotis! Oh, heading out for a walk? Could you try to get some firewood for us? Fire will need some soon to keep us nice and warm tonight. Also, just be safe. Alright, let's continue. Oh, what was that? Ooh. What the heck? Like a, a rock slide or something? All this, I'm gonna be checking like all these little indents and like these like lone trees and stuff for items. <laughs> I see that cave over there. Let me down. Oh, okay. Let's continue. Well, this is a really green cave, Jesus. Like very green and brown. Oh, hello there, little Mario looking dude. Hey kid, are you lost? Your campsite is up north. Path was blocked by a landslide. Well, you're in luck. This cart will take you right back there. Uh the game crash? Hello? Oh no, okay. This crazy experience has made you lose track of time. Check the tower. Oh, okay, now we set the clock. Day 10. Uh, it's actually 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock, yep. And 6 minutes. Yeah. Now if you can only figure out where you ended up. Oh, okay. Aqua mines now. You did a mining pick to mine. Want some water chilling over there. Is that, um, is that a Larvitar? It is a Larvitar. Hello. This Larvitar is blocking you. It looks lonely. Maybe it wants to tag along. Want to bring it with you? Hmm. <laughs> of course. Odd. Larvitar is holding a Pokeball. Put the po Larvitar into the Pokeball. Sweet. You nicked into the Larvitar you just received? Hell yeah. Because we have to. Male Larvitar. Uh, Larvitar's pretty ballin'. I really like Tyranitar. Uh, let's call him Baus. Baus. Nope, just one S. There we go. Alright, we got Baus the Larvitar. Uh, can we... Nope, we can't open up our uh, menu yet. I think, unless it's on a different key. Nope, okay. Oh, an encounter. Ooh, a Shinx. Well, there's Shinxie. Oh, look at that. Look at that trainer back sprite. That's pretty cool. Oh, bounce. Well, the Shinx Intimidate cuts the opponent's attack. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They also added abilities into this. I think they did abilities and even the physical special split. But there's no uh, natures that I'm aware of. We got Intimidated, but we're still doing decent damage. I guess he is only level 2, so... To be, to be expected. Easy. Easy game. <laughs> 17 experience. That's nothing. Of course, Larvitar has, like, a, a legendary curve to uh, level up. So he's gonna be hella slow to level. Yeah. Oh, there's an item over there. If. Potion. <laughs> of course. Another Larvitar? Can we have you too? Hmm, another Larvitar. Larvitar fled. And we get into a battle without even moving. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to turn, but it didn't even turn my sprite. I just got into a battle. Another Shinx. Oh, yeah, also, the Nuzlocke doesn't actually begin until we get Pokeballs, so we can come back here and catch a Shinx or whatever else might be in here later. 
Getting a Shinx with Intimidate would be really nice, because Intimidate is such a good ability, especially early on. Since, like, enemy trainers... And I'd assume it holds true for this hack, too, but enemy trainers don't, like, tend to switch out their Pokémon, so you can just Intimidate things. Boulder's too heavy to move. Okay, well... Oh, another encounter. Okay. And another Shinx. Uh, I'll show battles for now, uh, but feel free to let me know in the comments if you think I should just skip out on like the random uh, encounters, just so you don't have to go through them. Because with stuff like this, it's not going to be very interesting, and it's just going to waste time, basically. It's too small for you to enter. Send Baus instead. Oh, can... sure. Wait, what? Oh, dude. Oh, that's so cool. We're a little Pokemon. Oh, now we can open up our menu. Let's just save. <laughs> just to be safe. What's this? Baus eagerly devoured the soil. Sweet. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Is this a button? What is this button here for? Sounds like something moved. Oh, we can't run, unfortunately. Oh, let's see what was over here. Oh, it's the Larvitar, of course. Okay. Oh, another encounter. Wait, how's this gonna work? Oh, we're just... We are the trainer. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. My team guard run. What is guard? I assume team is just if we had other Pokemon with us. We could switch out. I'll send you just tackle. It's not very effective. I wonder what guard is. Does it just reduce the damage of a hit taken, or what? Okay, it probably does, because we only took one damage from the last one, but we took two damage from that one. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's kind of OP if, uh... You could see, like, a Skull Bash or something coming in. Or a Fly, or, you know, whatever. And you want Sped. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, hello! Alright, we can understand them, because we are also a Pokémon. I'm sorry that I ran away just now. I'm really shy. If you keep your trainer away, I'll give you a gift. As thanks. And they give us a Soft Sand. Cool. I guess I should hide somewhere else for now. Sorry, did they go back down here? Because me, as the trainer, is standing just outside that hole. So, let's see if did they come down here. Oh, another encounter. And it's a Sentret. Catch these claws, Sentret. <laughs> also, um, as far as like video length is concerned, uh, let me know what you guys want. I'm probably, unless I, like, you know, hear otherwise, I'm probably going to shoot for about 20 minutes, maybe 25, uh, depending on how the flow of the episode goes, but at least 20 is my goal. I think that's, that's pretty good. And that'd be 20 after editing if I also decide to cut out random battles and grinding and whatever. Do we have a, do we have a potion or anything? Oh, we do have a potion. Can we access it, though? Because we're... Oh no, we can't access our bag. Okay. Well, we'll just run away from whatever battles we run into. Alright, let's go back out here. Return to your trainer? Yes. And let's go ahead and use that potion right now, too. So, where did that other Larvitar go? Because he came out here when I was standing right here. <laughs> oh, whatever. Alright, uh, pack. Potion, use... Oh, we're holding an item. That must be the um, the soft sand. Let me just make sure. Yeah, there we go. Item, soft sand. Cool. But at night, aqua mines. Or aqua mines? Strong wield with guts. Alright. We're almost level 6. Oh, the, um, the rock is gone now. I wonder if the larvitar did that or if the button did that. Must be the button, because we talked to it, and we could, I think we could have left without talking to the other Tyranitar, or not Tyranitar, Larvitar. What ho and what ho? What? A fellow traveler. 
Would you like me to share one of my treasures? Sure. It's a berry. An orange berry to be specific. Pokemon love to eat these. Thank you. I guess we'll give that to, um, boss for now. Since the sand isn't going to do us any good because we don't have Earthquake or anything. It's weird saying pack instead of bag. Oh, whoops, that was it right there. If the bouse... There we go. Caper City. Oh, I like that uh, little banner. Hey, stop, talk to me. I don't recognize you at all. So, where did you come from? Mm-hmm. Huh? I've never heard of it. Okay, cool story. Oh, a new face. What brings you to Car Caper City? What? You fell down a hole in the mines. I need to put a ladder there. What's on TV? Literally nothing. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting I can run. Seeing these like 2D graphics like puts me through a loop, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it's you know like gold, silver, or whatever. I can't, I can't run here, but I can. Oh, Pokemon Center. We didn't need to use that potion at all. Oh, we'll heal up anyways, just to get our power points back. Thank you for waiting. Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Pokemon Centers are great! They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. Hell yeah. I wish I could meet Professor Ilk. He's always busy with his work. Oh, that's Professor Life for you. What's this? Oh, is this like the old, um... Like, battle battle place and whatever? Sorry, but the battle machine is being adjusted. Okay. Time capsule's being... Mm-hmm. Cable Trade Center. Let me trade your Pokemon here with a friend. Rejected trade. Uh, no? But does this mean you... How would you link these games up? I guess if you're playing them on an actual system. That would make sense. That's pretty cool, though, that they even incorporated that. For you. I'm shoveling snow right now. When I'm done, it should be safe to go past. Oh, okay, so... Basically, like, the, um, the tired old man in Gen 1. <laughs> in Vermilion City, I think. Oh, whoa, this sign actually is a sign. Caper City, Professor Elk's Lab. That's really cool. Rather than just having a little text box at the bottom, it brings up like, what the sign actually has on it. Best Fortran's practices. Why not study abroad in Kalos? Maljo, Fairy Tales, featuring Verenius. I don't know what that even is. How to speak normally and not annoy others. <laughs> Good book. What's on your computer? Can't go through it? Can I, get, can I sleep? Do you just sleep in your lab? Like, is this your home? Where's your kitchen at, dude? How do you get food? Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, yes. Ah, oh, so that makes sense. I should have... Should have a book about Nalja lore somewhere. Huh? Well, what is it? Who are you? Who am I? Why, I am Professor Ilk. I am the region's leading Pokemon professor. Or Pokemon re researcher? Sorry, I didn't get that last box very well. Oh, that's my Larvitar. Well, it's mine now. I couldn't find it anywhere. Strange, Larvitar seems to be very fond of you. Hmm. I'd hate to ask, but... Could you do me a favor? Please, check on my brother. He isn't answering his phone, so I'm a bit worried. He lives north of the city, on Route 69. <laughs> yeah, Route 1. Too, too good. So, Route 69 is what we get. Okay. I see how it is, game. Nice and mature. Bring my Larvitar with you, just to be safe. Yeah, your Larvitar. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. <laughs> Uh, what else is here? Mart? Oh, ice puzzle thing? Watch out! This is really thin ice. I'm trying not to move... Trying not to move to stop it from cracking. Alright, well, do whatever you want. Oh, it looks like we can't go over there yet, though. I assume we have to do something to get him to move so we can go to the right. What's in the Mart? 
I was once accused of shoplifting. I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to buy. Can't you see I'm busy here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's way too cold outside. I'm staying indoors until things start warming up. Aren't we all? Sorry. We're stocking up on inventory. Please come back later. Aw, oh, how rude. Okay. Well, this way is opened up now. So, I think I'm going to call that it for episode one. Let me know what you guys think. Um, from what I've heard, this ROM hack is really... Uh, pretty comprehensive as far as ROM hacks are concerned, so I'm really looking forward to it. I've sort of held off a lot on, on ROM hacks just because a lot of them seem either to try to change too much and they start feeling like less of a Pokemon game, or they just don't change enough and don't really pull me in. But this seems pretty good so far. So, uh, anyways, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.